Hey, Ed, nice to see you. Uh, Crown on Audio. Um, we've seen your 500 series stuff recently, yep. uh, but you've got something extra new and uh, not 500 series No, today, yes, right? indeed, yes. Uh, so this is the HE2. This is our full 19-inch rack version of the, uh, yeah, the, the brand new uh, grand breaking circuit of the Harmonic EQ Can't Be 500 that uh, people have uh, uh, received very well. So the new unit takes two of those, uh, those modules, gives you the ability to run them in stereo, uh, sorry, dual mono, stereo, or mid-side modes with built-in mid-side encoding, uh, combines it with bypassable inserts, some extra filters, and full USB and network uh, uh, project integration and recall through our new plugin and, uh, uh, and, and software. Oh, that's so cool. It all works in, uh, in real time, so you can control the devices uh, and see it moving when you adjust the hardware and, see, and catch it in the plugin, or vice versa, and you can recall a show oh, right, or so do these, automation. These are all rotaries, so you could just kind of go ping. Exactly. Rotary track. encoders with an LED ring, so you can see exactly what the values have changed to. But you don't have any pickup issues, it's just, there it is. No pick it up. So yeah, you can, you can load a show six months, a year in the future. It'll find all of the unique hardware IDs for as many instances of the, uh, of the plugin you've got running in your, show, in your project. Uh, you hit recall and it'll reload them all with the settings you had the last time you used it, whenever that was. That's neat. And this would run as a plugin so that you save it in the, in the it, project and it'll bring the stuff back. Exactly so, yeah. It runs as a, a VSD uh, plugin. Uh, we're going to look at uh, the Mac OS AAU uh, uh, versions of the plugin later on, uh, but for right now, there's a standalone version of VST plugin and uh, just drops into your, into your door project. So tell us a little bit about what the uh, Harmonic EQ can do and how it, uh, how it, how it works or what, it, what, yeah, okay. what does it do? Yeah, so uh, the Harmonic EQ works in a really interesting way. So it, um, it basically isolates uh, uh, different input frequency bands, extracts so, uh, extracts them uh, harmonic information from them and then feeds them back in to create a dynamic EQ effect. Right. So this uh, doesn't quite act like a normal multiband saturator exciter. It's much more progressive. It never really goes crunch, as it were. Um, it's more of a euphonic coloration, uh, 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 a very musical kind right. of um, uh, boost and cut that uh, kind of uh, allows you to adjust the timbre and the character. So it's like source. a sculpting, it's like, yeah, sculpt a, sorry? Sculpt a sculpting EQ. Yeah, yeah. sculpting. Um, but yeah, very much an adjustment of the character rather than just moving the levels up and down. Right, okay. So yeah. have you got any audio that's uh, running? Can yeah, you give us a I, bit can, of a uh, I can chuck some audio through. So, yeah, this is, uh, let's just run it in stereo mode for now. So you have uh, individual band bypasses. Uh, you can drive in the low. I'm pushing this a bit high and a bit excessive just to show. Uh, you've got the mid-band, you can drive it around. Um, the high-end does this lovely striking effect. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's like air, isn't it? And yeah. the air and sizzle without any... Without any harshness. No exactly, harshness. Yeah. So you get this interesting effect where the harmonic information will kind of uh, uh, mask the, the amount of the boost you're adding um, and, and make it sound very natural because it's kind of emphasizing the, uh, the, uh, the instruments and the sources you know, throughout the range with it, uh, extra harmonic information within that air band. So this is done in analog, is it? Purely analog uh, uh, audio processing, yeah. There's digital control, yeah, uh, yeah. adjust multiple parameters per turn of a control, but yeah, it's a purely analog. So uh, hence you're not getting any phase issues when you're feeding it back in itself? No, not at all. Because uh, you're really isolating the, the harmonic information and uh, feeding that back in, so it's, um, it really builds upon it without, yeah, without, uh, much, without anything in the way of phase issues or the like. Wow, interesting. So. Um, any kind of specific tricks you could use it for other than sculpting? Is there a sort of a thing that only it does? Yeah, I mean, so one of the things it does, it's, uh, um, it's really good at adding kind of a, a liveliness and a final polish and warmth and vibe um, to, a, to a mastering track. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really good sort of final character uh, adjustment device. But you can also, you know, that's if you're being a bit subtle on the controls. If you, if you really crank it and put some effort in, you can, uh, you can get some really dramatic effects. Um, so if you're isolating the single stem, you can, you can really adjust the character and the vibe of your bass guitar, say. Um, you know, really bring out different parts of the attack or the, or the, the, the string feel or the, or the, or the resonance of the, of the bass and really, really fill it up and make it warm and thick or vice versa. Um, so it's a, it's a really multi-purpose tool with a lot of power and a lot of uh, ability to adjust the character of everything you're doing to get the vibe that you want. Did you say that this also has a, a, a USB audio co a component? No, there's no. It, that's not. It's so it's it, it, the 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 computer connectivity is for control only, right? Yeah, the uh, it's control only. 
through the uh, through the through the uh, USB and network port. So um, you can load as many instances of the plugin, control multiple versions of the hardware, but it is just control data. Yeah, so one to one. Excellent. So uh, I'm guessing. I mean, it looks like it shouldn't be cheap. So I'm guessing no. it's like it, it is what it is. So is it uh, available now? Is it something? That no. You it's uh, so it's looking to ship around uh, end Q1, early Q2. Uh, you've got some supply issues that we're just just working through. Um, but uh, it's 17.99 map US retail. Uh, so it's, it's really not at all bad for what it is. No, well, high high quality two channel under two grand is with is full a, recall and all the rest yeah, yeah. of it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we 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 save a lot of money because we don't need the uh, uh, tubes and transformers to get that kind of vibe because we have a circuit that we can customize to get any kind of vibe we want, uh, all in solid state. Oh, interesting. It's not using FPGA at all, is it? It's There's no FPGAs. No, no. right. Okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Fantastic. Okay, so uh, Q1, end of Q1, and then... Uh, end of Q1, early Q2, yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much.